For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. So it says the Lord, Yahweh Christ, is going to set us in our own land. Yeah, so what are you waiting for? Him to come pick you up out of your hair and put you down over there? Yeah, that's talking about Israel. Okay. And I will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them, so the Israelites are going to take the strangers, and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. So we're going to... Christ is going to come back, okay, and the people who had us in chains, we're going to put them in chains. So why people? To rule over that's who you, that's, that's who not you're just white people. Not just white people. Who else? Every other nation that had us in captivity. The sub-Saharan slave trade, the Moabites. What, what about the what about the kings? The, the African kings that sold y'all into slavery. They're going into captivity too. too. The Nigerians, the man. All of that's, I don't think, I, 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 I dispute that that's talking about a future uh, thing, and that's something that's already happened, is what I contend. So, hold on, read Revelation uh, 13 and 9. Yeah, I, don't, I think that's, our, that's something that's already happened. This is Revelation 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. When have the Europeans gone into captivity? By the people they put in captivity. That's how we know this future prophecy, because they have not went into captivity for the people. Dude, that's talking about anybody who's ever unjustly took in somebody against their will and done something against their will. That's what that's talking this about, is man. Linked it ain't... With Isaiah 14, though. No, man. It's precept upon precept. Yeah. This is. But Isaiah is a past tense. That what you read, I think, something that happened. But what you read in Revelation is something that hasn't happened. I agree. Oh, that. that but hey, that, that have I taken up. somebody into captivity? No, he, it says he, that's a personal thing. He who takes into captivity will be led into captivity. Uh, and I'm show you I've never thing. done that. Look, and, and that's a good question. Have you ever been in captivity? Yes, I'm in no, captivity. No, man, right come now. on, man. You, have, you are not. It just said that You're it, as it, free as I am. No, dude. I'm not. Why no. aren't you? I'm, I can show you because if I want to travel out of the country, what do I have to do? I have to go to another people for a passport. I have to have an ID. I cannot be a felon. We, I'm under the jurisdiction okay. of someone yeah. else. That's not my. So people. am I. If I wanted to do those things, those if are I your wanted... people, though. Dude, man, my people, your people. That's where y'all messed up, man. Jesus is gonna come set it straight, man. And I, and that's all I can say, man. He's gonna come set it straight. Okay. I, I pray that you're well, this, this one of his one. child. This is, uh, and I pray to the Lord with me. But this is the last scripture I'm gonna leave you with, okay? Because you said that you didn't do anything personally. Even let's say, even if your forefathers did it and you did it, okay. let's say, well, we're not gonna take you. I don't want to use you. I don't want to see you personally. Let's take the average European, and they didn't put, they didn't put, they didn't put, they didn't I put don't any agree in what the average European did or what they did. Okay, done. okay, and that's okay. I don't, I don't line up with that. But if you agree with it or not, this is what it says. Isaiah fourteen and twenty one. This goes in talking about that, and it reads all the way through. This is the context. Okay. So it says, prepare slaughter. For his children, for the iniquity of their fathers. So they're going to have to pay for what their fathers did. That's already happened, dude. The slaughter has happened. It may, it may be a, that may be a, a, a immediate prophecy, and it may be a foretelling prophecy. What does it say exactly again? Which one? That one you just read about the slaughter. It said prepare slaughter for their. But are we going to be slaves, or are we going to be slaughtered?